let's be honest, I'm pretty delighted about finding um, Record Forge 2 Pro or RecForge 2 Pro. In this uh, session we're going to have a look at all of the features, as many features we can get packed in. So starting off on the um, top left, what we have here is um, one thing I will direct you to is the help page, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and you can see that in red there the email of the developer at the top and you can go through and have a good old read now the thing is is uh, you know the developer says um, it's not complete you know and we can always um, look to improve things and that's the brilliant thing about uh, developing anyway so so going down on the left hand side we've got settings which I'm going to have a look at and there are some which are super important I'm going to leave tons out because I want to focus on you know the top three to five things. Now the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to record in two different steps. One is the preview mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off and show you what I mean just by the preview mode. And so what would happen is that when I go back, and this is um, the setup of the app, bottom right is a red button. If I hit it once, and there we go, I'm recording now, that's lovely and fine, and I've recorded straight away. But the gain is which is the blue line on the the bottom here I can slide up one two three four five it's getting quite hot and I can slide it down as I record one two three four five and you can see that it's picking up not so much we could in the Goldilocks way leave it in the middle a little bit high a little bit low no it's just right in the middle so we stop now what happens is that we can go back and this time on the bottom right I'm going to press and hold the red button so press and hold. Now it's recording but it's not really recording because it's previewing. You can see that there is a tick and a cross. So what happens is that as I'm speaking to you now perhaps I feel that I should bring it up a little bit and when I'm happy that I'm getting a bit hot bring it down, bring it down about there. If I'm happy then I click tick and then and only then does the app start recording which is pretty good because it gives you a check. So the thing is that if I stop that and go back and I go back to settings. What I want to do this time is, and this is the way how, how I think I'm going to set the app up for myself, and that is I'm going to hit the check button. After you check the preview mode, what I'm going to do is go back. This time I'll click once and it automatically jumps into the checking the gain. Super, super important because the last thing you need to do is, like I did the other day, is pulled it all the way down to low in actual fact it was so bad that I had it to zero and I did the recording and I got nothing coming out which is just terrible oh so I just want to bring that back to the middle and then when I'm happy again and say yes that's fine I've got enough because you could be in a very quiet surroundings or you could be in a very noisy outdoor surrounding I click OK tick and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we are recording and we are happy hopefully stop now go back to the settings again and I want to shovel this along as fast as I can. If we look at the settings and a very super fast overview we can look at uh, the different file types, mono or stereo depending on what you've got and mine is set I think it's default which is pretty high at 44 kilohertz. Now um, we can go look at the different microphones. We can go down and I've just left the metadata the same um, I'm not doing conversion, I don't want to do it twice. In other words, um, when you finish the recording from a WAV file, it will convert it, say, to an MP3 for you, which is a smaller file to share. And we can look at things like that. There is a light and a dark. You know, if you put it on light, it goes like that. A little bit uh, too strong for me personally. And so I want to go back to the settings. I want to change it back down to dark again. Dark. OK, so the next thing we're going to look at on the top right, let's just go, oops, sorry about that, and go back. You get used to all these. So here we are at the default screen. Now, if I look at the red button, what I'm going to do, um, just on the top right, actually, top right, I can see about effects, haven't really touched these, recording time, haven't touched it, skip silence is something I do not use because I find that um, I like to get the whole of the recording and then edit later rather than uh, skipping silence. So to be honest, actually, I've not actually used skip silence in this app. It might be fantastic, but again, I have just not used it. So um, when I hit and watch this, 
I'm going to hit once, record. Remember I'm in preview mode and then I will hit. Now watch this on preview mode on the right. Can you see on the top right there there's like a little speaker with a line through it. What you should do in every recording if at all possible is plug in a headset and listen to your own voice or the own um, outside noise. Then that way you can monitor exactly what is coming into your app and into uh, that you are recording. Let me just play around with this. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five. Now what's happening is it's not going in my headset, is it? It's coming out into the room and then it's feeding back and looping back extremely fast. So the point of it is if I come out of that and then I'm going to record again, show you a different feature, I'm happy with that, click tick. Now watch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm hitting this thing that looks like a fork in the road. I can't remember where I was, but I think it was something like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, end. Stop. Now, on the right hand side top of the screen, there was something, and I'm going to come out, and I think it was these last three here, is if you're in a situation where you're recording, but you didn't want to stop, start, stop, start, and you just literally wanted to hit, I call it a fork in the road, but it's literally you are stopping the recording and starting a new recording immediately. Let me play this. So play. Now watch, one, two, three, four. Now all I've got to is four, but I've stopped the recording. Then I go back, Let's try that one, tick, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we are recording and we are happy, hopefully. Now what I'm getting at here is that the recording is, if you're in a situation where you're recording, say, interviewing people rapidly, or you wanted to swap between your own voice recording and then, say, um, some ambient noise, let's say a train was going past, then what you can do is, as you are recording, and I'll show you this one more time, and I think I might end this video in case we're getting it too long. I think we've covered quite a lot of the features. This is the thing. So let's say, set up scenario that you are doing some train tracks or something. So you would click Start, you're okay, let's say you're right near a really busy, busy, and you wanted to bring it right down. So in other words, again, you know you're in a super, super noisy environment, you start to record, you know, chug, 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 and train, 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 goes past, and you think, okay. Then you step off and it's quiet, and you realize that your voice is quite quiet. You can bring the gain right up, and that was the noise of a train chugging through a train track crossing. Then let's say you came out and you think, oh, that's a bit high. Bring that down to the middle and you could say, excuse me, I wondered if you could say you know, a few words about um, the, the train just chugging through the station there. And stop. Now, the point is that if we come back, just to demonstrate, is what we've now got is at least three different recordings. I think it was this one. And we've got... Often it's quiet. You realise that your voice is quite quiet. You can bring the gain right up. And... You can see that that's the recording. Then we can come back, stop, back, and go to, I think it was this one. Then let's say you came out and you think, oh, that's a bit high. Bring that down to the middle and you could say, excuse me, I wondered if you could say you know, a few words about... Well, you get the idea, don't you? So I think that wraps up this video without getting it too long. We've covered a bunch of features on the left-hand side. There we have covered a few recordings. And if I was going to click and hold this, then on the right hand side I've got some share buttons. And I've got some, what else have I got? Top right is some um, edit buttons. And we've covered the merge and concatenate in a separate video. So I'll wrap it up there. Thank you very much.